my pretties. Let me give y'all a quick message, right? Um, we have proud and generous, proud and a reading. Listen, you guys have done something or, um, you know, with this proud and generous, it, it, it gives me strong, like, em empath vibes, empath vibes, however you want to pronounce it. Um, you know, loving on the world, spreading your love and light, staying true, having your integrity, um, keeping your integrity, showing grace and stuff like that that's been coming up a lot lately okay but then on the other side we have hungry and mirror and then we have robot okay robot and window this is making me feel like this is making me feel like clean your windows with vinegar and ammonia and your mirrors too or cover them okay because it, it feels to me like somebody's trying to intercept some sort of hungry hungry hippo energy with this generous like with this proud and generous you're receiving things okay but of course it wouldn't be um you know it wouldn't be regular life if somebody wasn't trying to come for you okay somebody ch is trying to get what you got this could be energetically okay um but your ancestors and your angels are proud of you period all right, so I really want you guys to pat yourself on the back. Treat yourself to something. There's going to be a blessing that comes through. There's going to be this, with this generous, that's coming straight from, um, straight from source. Source. Y'all know my, um, yeah, y'all need to protect yourself. Y'all know my accent is so hard. Strong. Source. So source. Yeah, with this three of wands, you guys, um, whatever you putting out into the universe right now, you're gonna get. I feel like I feel like there is a path laid out for you, okay. But we have the magician and the three of swords, okay. But some, uh, as usual, somebody's trying to manipulate this, okay. Somebody's really trying to manipulate this with the at the bottom of the deck with the confusion illusions. Um, I just heard Virgo, and also I just heard Pisces, and it could be a Cancer as well, okay. So watch out for this for this energy. Make sure you cleanse in your house. If you if you need help cleansing your house, get the house cleansing bundle. It comes with instructions and, you know, it's good for, well, some of the things you'll find in here is good for more than one use, okay? Um, you could take it to use for future use. Tell me about future plans on this. Yeah. As you heal, okay, you're going to manifest. Things are going to get better for you as you heal. I feel the energy of the star card. Yeah, this 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 is remember I said with this nature card, remember I said I feel like there's a, a plan mapped out for you or a, a path mapped out for you, okay? Um, but you can also manifest the things that you want at this time. Um, the good luck is on your side at this time. The wheel is the wheel is on your side at this time. I feel it. And this has nothing to do with chance and, and everything to do with the universe, God, source, the most high being proud of you, your ancestors being proud of you, your guides, your angels being proud of you. Okay, whatever you know, energies you resonate with, they proud of you. Okay, you need to be proud of yourself too. These these gifts are gonna come through because of that. These blessings are going to come through because of that. And then, of course, you got Hungry Hungry Hippo. You know what I'm saying? And then and then this robot energy, which is basically um, the way I read this card, okay, is a soulless being. Somebody who is easily manipulated by Steven, okay? Easily, that that's, that's what that robot card is for, okay, in this deck. like vampiristic vibes it's like it's like um the walking dead okay and steven and his people steven's peoples basically with the rebirth karmic completion and new beginnings yeah somebody wants to put we already know this though okay somebody wants to put an end an end to your adventure okay they want you to give up um, on what it is that you have in the works or give up on your goals and your dreams and stop you from your path, okay? A lot of you guys that I'm talking to are cho have been chosen to step up for something. You already know what it is. I'm pretty sure you already know what it is. If you don't, get in tune with what that is, okay? Get in tune with what that is so you can go ahead and move forward. Um, 
it's time to work. I know a lot of y'all are in this sorrowful energy, okay? Because I've been picking that up a lot. And this manipulation, it, it, it's artificial. This is not, these are not your feelings. They're, they're being projected upon you. Okay, that's why I say cleanse your house. Yeah, look at that, the, the journey card. They want to stop you from going on your journey. They, they do, that's, that's, um, you know, people try to, people say a lot like, yeah, foe, okay? They, they trying to stop you from your journey. People say like, you know, why me or, um, you know, um, why are people ganging up on me and what do I have and this, that, and the third? Listen, you have, <laughs> okay? You have, you have to, you know, look at yourself with a spiritual eye. You are gifted. And then you also have to understand, and I keep reminding y'all that we are at war, okay? This is, th what's going on is high level spirituality. Like, it, it is, it is beyond us, okay? There's a war going on outside. God, God's children and Stephen and his people. So this is why this is going on. They're trying to that they're trying to take us off our path. They're really trying to take us out of here. Okay? They have waged war against us. That's why you have to be diligent and you have to stay woke. Don't go easily trusting people or anything like that. Because they play on the fact that we have big hearts. Or play on the fact that we're isolated. And, 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 um, cause a lot of us don't talk to a lot of people. You know, a lot of us have, uh, pulled ourselves back from people. So, you know, you could get an offer like what I've seen in, um, I think it was Gemini's reading, um, someone coming in to woo you and pretending to be your knight in shining armor, right? But it's really bullshit, okay? He, you know, that individual is, employed by Steven as well, okay? Playing on the fact that, you know, um, you're on some sort of twin flame journey or whatever the case is, right? So be careful. Yeah, they trying to put you in the energy of sorrow. <sighs> Look at that death. Watch what you eating. Um, lover, servant, and death. This is what I was saying. You know, you have this guy here who um, comes to woo you. Oh, baby, baby, let me make your son to eat. Let me wait on you hand and foot and all this other stuff. And then this, to put you, to put you in this energy, okay? A lot of these dudes, and I told y'all before, I'm going to mention it again because sometimes we have different people um, that watch the channel, um, newcomers and things, right? Um, these men, and not just men, I'm sorry, women as well, right? When they work for Steven, they carry the energy of death. So you can sleep with them, you can feel sick, Right. Um, one of the things that they had that they are are like spiritual hitmen. That's one of the jobs that they have. OK, you know, um, go look at my one of my reads that say and it's been like in the past week, I think I posted it. It says they were hired as spiritual hitmen. OK, it's a the, it's a thumbnail of a zombie. OK, and that's this energy right here. OK, they down they download or put some sort of this this person sinks their energy with um a negative entity and when you have sex with them they release toxic energy onto you to put you in this energy okay you gotta watch out because this is you know cuffing season and stuff like that and these these people come into your life and you know with this loving energy and try to act like oh baby baby right meantime they plotting because they want what you got okay they want what you got or they want to profit off of your demise in some sort of way. Because again, why? Because they are employed by Stephen. Um, I want to check and see what it is that spirit wants us to do about this situation. Okay, tell us about what else to do about these individuals. They don't want to see you winning. They don't want to see you in it, okay? Um, and, you know, that's what that's what would keep you distracted. Like, wow, like, you know, these are my friends. These are my family. This is my, my lover. Why would they not want to see me win? Or what do I have? And da-da-da-da, when, when it's really bigger than that, okay? Um, Steven goes and employs, okay, people um, 
and and manipulates people around you to do negative things okay with that with this seven of cups energy to do negative things to you Stephen can even try to manipulate you to do negative things to yourself, okay? Um, Self-sabotaging and, and, and procrastinating and things of that nature, okay? So just think about it as that. This shit ain't personal, <laughs> okay? It's a collective energy. This is, this, is, this is God's fight. You know what I mean? This is something that has to do with good and evil, basically. So once you see that one of your, one of your, um, once you see that one of your, the people that you are around or whatever, family members, whoever, once you see that they soul has been compromised, they start acting weird and stuff. Yep. <laughs> Cut them off. Okay. Because you don't need anybody around you that could be, um, could act as a vessel or a channel for Steven, him damn says the devil. Spirit is saying, I want you to use your logic. I want you to use your logic and, and look at everybody and look and look at people um, with a keen eye. Okay. Don't just go easily trust them. And be careful about your decisions as well. Spirit is saying also to stay away from drama. That's one of the things that um that spirit wants you to do. Okay, I think especially as it stay away, stay out of drama and stay into creativity. Tell me about the six of wands. Okay. Okay. Might be some sort of conflict on social media or something like that. Yeah. Um, stay away from stay away from stuff like that. Go, go, go into hermit mode is what spirit wants you to do. Yeah. Go into hermit mode. I feel like don't 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 blast your ideas either. Do not publicly tell your ideas or um yeah. Do not publicly tell your ideas, what you're doing, what you're working on, okay? Yeah, with this Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And, and there's something here about social media, too. this pertaining to please hmm. what this pertaining to? I don't know why I keep getting something about <laughs> some sort of house like it's a strong energy about somebody wanting to harm someone so they can obtain a house Okay, someone wanting to harm someone so 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 they could obtain some sort of property. Waiting, 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 maybe to sell a person house or something like that. Like this is what they're doing. Watch out for somebody that you're dealing with that may want to come back, okay? You see this reunion? Watch out for somebody that you're dealing with that may try to come back. And, and because this widower energy here, this could be a lover. This could be somebody that you married to, okay? This person is not to be trusted. They're on a war path as it pertains to you. So that's one of the things that you need to watch out for, okay? They hoping that you let them back into your life so they could get you sick. Like I said, what did I tell you? Keep your legs closed, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your legs closed. Because these, 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 Stephen is plotting heavy. Mm -hmm. 
the recovery of health and wellness is here. Yeah. You getting your energy back together. You're you you definitely bossing up and 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 not only just as f financial is concerned, it really has to do with transformation as well. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Remember, we're very strong, especially um you know, the ones that are gifted, okay? Um, very, very strong in our mind, okay? So if you start to think negatively, things will manifest negatively. Stay focused and stay positive, okay? And you're going to be good. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about. I told you this, guys. This is not just, oh, you know, my ex is is now wanting to be evil because whatever. Or, yeah, I got an evil family member. They're just jealous. This is far, this is far worse. I mean, I, I can't say worse. Far more serious, okay? It, this is, this is, um, like I said, this is good against evil. Okay, and you know, you're not alone in this fight. A lot, this is a collective energy. <clears throat> Somebody might have to call up. What is that? Oh. Yeah, don't let there's somebody that you need to not let back in your life. They're gonna try to make you sick. They're gonna try to mess with your energy. Yeah, they, they it, it's so many different cups out here. It could be a water sign. It's so many different cups out here. You want to stay away from this person. Oops, they might be a Sagittarius, or you might be a Sagittarius. Okay, so you want to keep keep away. All right, use your logic. Stay away from this person because I feel like they they trying to send in like diff, different energies. Like I said, like I mentioned, I picked that up in Gemini. Try, the, the gang stalkers are getting ready to send in a man um, or or um, a lover, a love interest, right? To try to uh, woo you, okay? But really and truly, they coming in to, to, to finish the job. Like stick the knife in your back type energy, okay? Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. Okay, yeah, you 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 gotta um the monkey reminds me of air signs. Um, they just do. Monkeys remind me of air signs. Okay, so use your use your smarts, focus, plan, and things of that nature because they sure doing it. Okay. And make sure you are constantly connected to God, source, because you're that's going to be your um your motivation let that motivate you and by motivate I, I i also mean like move you okay direct you put you on a certain path show you how to move in a room full of vultures basically let yourself stand out and be noticed there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it Let's see. What's the other one? Now in boat. Oh, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, um, y'all need to eat better, okay? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're, make sure you're eating better. This has to do with, um, Yeah, look at that. This has to do with um, your health, okay? Yeah. 
There's a need for you to maybe even like take spiritual baths. There's a need for you to connect, go outside some more. Okay, especially with this, let yourself stand out and be noticed. I know I was saying like go into hermit mode, but this let yourself stand out and be noticed has to do with your craft. Okay, your work, whatever it is that you're doing, putting your head in your, in, in, you know, in your books or um, yeah, you know what I mean? This has a lot to do with your creativity with those sunflowers representing um the sacral chakra and the solar plexus, okay? Yeah, it feels like you are, uh, you know, yeah. What did I say? As it pertains to your work, you need to throw yourself into your work. And that's the way you're going to stand out to be seen. You understand what I'm saying? This is the way you're gonna stand out to be seen. Let your work speak for you. Don't, 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 cause yeah, cause you in you in isolation, but it's a bad isolation. It's the isolation that has to do with grief. It's the isolation that has to do with grief. And like I said, it's because they are with the magician and the three of swords, they are conjuring up wickedness to make you feel like you're sad. But some of you guys, you may even be having suicidal thoughts, okay? Put all your energy into your work. Why are you here? Okay. When you have when you have a purpose, nobody can take that from you. Okay. I always try to, you know, remind myself, like, girl, you better get to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better stay, you better stay on your purpose. Your purpose is your protection. You understand what I'm saying? Your purpose is your protection. Listen, I'm here working for for, for my for my father who art in heaven. All right. So you can't take me off that path. Period the end. Divine order is going to be restored here. You're in a cycle of growth, okay? Always remember karmic laws. Always remember karmic laws. Yeah. You're, you're going through a lot of inner conflict. I understand why, because the magician and the three of swords, okay? But you have to get yourself out of that. You have to get yourself out of that. For some of you guys, I feel like you're looking back to the past and trying to figure out why you allowed things, why you did things. If you just if you just didn't meet this person, or if you just didn't trust, or, or if you just didn't let it, go, let it go that far, whatever the case is, okay? You are being called to look at yourself in a non-judgmental way and move forward. The universe is proud of you, okay? The universe is going to be generous to you because the universe is proud of you. All right? So go get your blessings. I hope that helped.